my question is why is creativity like poetry dying these days and poetry is a part of literature and how much contribution of literature is there on the way to adhyatma see the more you will lose touch with yourself the more material your world will get hmm there are two directions you can look at the outer direction and the inner direction in the outer direction there is only the material right darshi when you look outwards what do you find buildings roads vehicles stones mountains people so all that is quite material right material huh? the subtle is here inside and the subtlest truth is the self which is again within but the way life has been the way we have come to our age it has been actively disincentivized to go within how first of all the industrial production has stuffed our world with so many lucrative objects that there is no time no space no opportunity and no incentive to look the other way hmm? there are so many tempting objects all around you 360 degree and there are corporations and factories constantly producing those objects so you are you are looking at those things 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 wherever you go things new things hmm and those things appeal and attract so material has started ruling the mind additionally there has been a great decline in true spirituality bogus cults and babas have risen and are ruling so the the importance of going within has has totally mm, uh, gone unaddressed self knowledge is on decline people are not really reading books of wisdom i have seen a very visible change in the quality of uh, content available in bookstores hmm philosophy section is out self help has expanded wisdom is out superstition has ballooned so you are being attacked in both the ways externally there is a proliferation of lucrative objects and there remains very little to educate you to tell you to go within the result is you are completely going outwards and outwards and outwards so the mind has become material and the material is called gross sthul poetry is about the delicate the fine the more material your life will become the less poetic it will remain because poetry is something delicate fine subtle instead all that you want is the next great pair of shoes the next mobile phone the next car the next girlfriend or boyfriend the next mansion the next uh, tempting tourist destination all these are not poetic 
All these are simply sthul, gross. And there is nothing to send you within. Now you will see why poetry and spirituality are so interlinked. At least in India, you find that several of the great spiritual works have been composed in verse. In fact, we call them verses. Don't we? It is the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Gita. What does Gita mean? How will she sing if she is muted? So what does Geet mean? I can't hear you. Song. Song. So it's the Srimad Bhagavat Gita. The song divine. Huh? The song divine. Not the essay divine. It's not a long article or essay. It's a song. Because certain things can be expressed only poetically. The subtle aspects of truth can be brought out only poetically. Otherwise, words will fail. And poetry stands at the border between eloquence and silence. Poetry stands just at the point where words begin to fail. Therefore, if you want to just approach the truth, huh, the poem is the way. So you have Ashtavakra Gita, Ribhu Gita, <laughs> Hudhud Gita, even Ram Gita, Shiv Gita. Do you see so many Gitas, just songs? Even the Ramcharitmanas, what do you do with it? You sing. Think of the saints. They wanted to bring self-knowledge to masses. In that sense, they were a bit different uh, than the sages. They said everybody should know. So what was the medium they chose? Bhakti moments and song. They were singing. Huh? The saints were all poets. And they were constantly singing. Because there is something in a song that is very close to the ineffable. Are you getting it? So the more you will find there is a decline in spirituality, you will find a decline in poetry as the symptom. And the more poetic a people will get, the more will be the chance of them turning spiritual. Right? Poetry gives you, gives you nothing except a certain invigoration, a certain transcendence of the usual self. You could call it a certain bliss. Nobody becomes a billionaire poet. And if all your life is just about billions of dollars, then why will you value poetry? Poetry is valued only by those who are aiming at something within. And if the world becomes a place where the within is just ignored, rejected, even humiliated, then you will find that poetry is dying. Hmm? And the more material you get, the external symptoms are climate change, extinction of biodiversity, hmm? the looming extinction of millions of species, including our own. 
all that is just because there is nothing in life except this 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 all this that the corporations and the factories are churning out all this that the advertisements are compelling you to shell out money for who has then the incentive to probe the subtle truth within right do not be like that even if you are a bad poet still do write some poetry hmm even if you are a bad uh, song writer still have some songs of your own it's anyway not for public consumption it's anyway not for demonstration right it's for yourself be a poetess unto yourself and laugh at your poems if you if they are no good that's okay getting it yes Narshif, you want to say something? You have to unmute yourself. I think I understood. Okay. <laughs> I'll write poems from now. Cute. <laughs> All the best.